And also, you're one of the public figures. You you don't you don't you, you don't hide from your from your public. You walk around. Um, you you talk to people. You meet people. That's right. Have you ever thought about being assassinated? Didn't I read your mind? You did. See, I wrote a poem. Better far from all I see, to die fighting to be free. What more fitting end could be? Better that I say my sooth. I heard the dad demanding truth while I'm still akin to youth. Better now that I may own, now that fear of death is gone, never mind another dawn. If I get shot or something happened to me, it has to be because somebody don't like me for what I believe and everything I think. Yes, sir. And I'll die for that. You would. Uh, and let me tell you, if somebody want to get you, see, I, in the Holy Quran, the Islamic Bible, it says, not one soul comes on earth without the permission of our Lord God. Not one soul leaves without the permission. When you die, it's time. So I don't believe that it's time for me to die in that way. If it is, then I won't. Because if you're the president and somebody really wanted you, I don't care how much you had security, if somebody would give their life for you, they'd come up and say, give me your autograph. And just take, take me, don't care. So when a person don't care for his life, you did. So how can I worry about all the people in the world, all the countries, who want, who want me? I don't want to know. If it happens, it happens, it's God's will. If I ride an airplane, I'm not scared of nothing. And I fly every day and I hate them. You still hate them? Man, we got in a thunderstorm a couple of weeks ago, and that plane did, it went up, went down, the wings did that, did that. <laughs> And the back tail of the plane shook, and I almost knew it was going to split and crack. Could you imagine a plane cracking up when you're not dead yet and it's split? And you're flying out. Ah! <laughs> and you're out there, you're flying through the clouds, and you're waiting to hit the ground. Ah! It's a bad feeling. You never lost that fear of flying. I know I fear it, but I always wonder what would happen if something happened. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't worry about dying. Do you, do you have a bodyguard? You have... No. You don't? I got one bodyguard. He has no eyes, though he sees. He has no ears, though he hears. He remembers everything with the aid of mind and memory. When he wishes to create a thing, he just orders it to be and it comes into existence. But this order is not conveyed in words which takes a tongue to form like or a sound carries ears. He hears the secrets of those under quiet thoughts. He stops those whom, who's that? It's God. Oh, he's my bodyguard. He's your bodyguard. He's the supreme, the wise. So if I can't depend on him, if I get a bodyguard, I'm telling God, I don't trust you. I'm telling God, I'm watching for everybody. He gets at the gun. I'll watch for somebody. No. Hmm. Hollow. <laughs>